All right. Thank you guys again for being here. So be, you can go and look at Fit Forever and do this workout anytime. And it's Fit the Number Four Ever with a capital E. Let's get going. All right. Come on, music. So let's take, start with a big inhale up and pull on down, exhale. Inhale up again. Can you guys hear me okay? Can I get a thumbs up if you can hear me? Okay, perfect, and pull down. Let's push it up, squeeze, really squeeze those glutes. Shoulders are pulled down, belly button tucked towards your spine. Really starting it with this quad pulling up to the ceiling. So pushing that quad, squeeze. Just warming it up here for a couple minutes. Good, you guys look great. Two, one, opposite elbow to knee, pull it down. Keep that chest nice and upright. Exhale on the arms down. Good. Let's take it wider. Nice wide stance. Little bit bigger. Good. Four. Make sure you guys have good music to keep you motivated. Two. And one. Body weight squat right here. So push it back. Feet right underneath the hips. Or really right underneath the shoulders. Keeping the chest up. Push forward. Push forward. Good. Three more. And hold it here, hold it. Wiggle those toes, make sure that all the weight's in the back. Shoulders back and down, belly button in. Add a hop, land toe ball heel. Stay low. Nice, good. Let's do four more, four, three, Two, go into jumping jacks. You can go low if you're not quite ready yet, or high. Good. Squeeze those glutes, feel it in the legs, warm up the shoulders. Good, four, three. We're gonna go into jump rope. Just singles to start, so go. Side to side, get those arms working a little bit. You should see some ponytails flying. Good, shoulders down still. Four, three. Now we're gonna try to jump rope, both feet up and over the rope. So let's try to double jump if you can. Good. Four more, four, three, and one, run it out. Last feet, hinge forward just slightly, shoulders back, forward four, three, two, and back, four. Forward, get lower, back, hold it here. Four, three, we're just gonna open up the sides. Got it right here, open. Nice long lines. Hand over the head, try to keep the shoulders square to knee. So it's not a turn, it's an up and over. There you go. You should be able to look up the ceiling. Four, Three. Let's open it in the front. Push. Open up the back. Use the back of the hand to guide you. Open the back. Get that hunchback going. Just for a little bit. Four. Three. Two. Let's go into some butt kickers. Arms out. 
can get the arms up if you want. If they're up, bring the shoulders down and butt kickers. If this gets too much, if you have maybe parents with you, you can squat down and up. But you guys stay here. Everybody here can do this. Four, three, two, high knees. Arms out in front or up above. Good, Bailey. You get those arms up, everybody. Arms up, arms up. Four, three. A little bit faster. Nice, Emily. Come down into high mountain climber. Arms down, feet back. Hands under the shoulders, drive. Shoulders back, belly button is fine. Keep going. Good, heads right in alignment. I'm just checking you out. Keep going, keep going. If you guys, if your music's too loud, or you can't hear me, turn it down just a little bit. Knee out to the side, squeeze, back. Slow, feel the side. Shoulders right over your hands. A little quicker. Squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Hold it here. We're gonna bring the knees in, back. Now over to the side. Front, back. Side, back. Front. Go as fast or as slow as you want. Two more. Hold it here. Hold it, hold it. We're gonna come down into low plank. So, first come back into child's pose, get a quick stretch. Quick arm roll. Let's do two. And let's come onto our high plank again. We're gonna drop onto our left forearm, or whatever arm is gonna make you face the camera. Let's lift that arm up to the ceiling. My shoulders are in the alignment. So is my hand to my lower elbow. Second option, drop that leg if you need to. Otherwise, let's get the hips up to the ceiling. Up, up, pull out of the neck. Good, eight, seven, four, Two, hold it up, hold it high, thread the needle, down for two, out for two, reach behind and up to the ceiling, behind, up, last one, eight more pulses up, eight, seven, good, three, and one, roll it to forward plank, Hold this here. Shoulders, hips are parallel to the ground. Push your hands into the floor. Good. From here, you're gonna roll over onto the other side. I'm gonna flip around so I can see you. Good. So, push that forearm into the floor. Hips are up high. Pulse it up, up. Beautiful. Up. I can see some of you guys. Keep going, don't stop. Beautiful, oh, Bailey, perfect. Make sure that arm that's up at the ceiling is really going to the ceiling, not in front. Hold it here. We're gonna bring it down for two. Thread the needle. Down, two, up, long necks. And up, good, down, hold it up here. Let's pulse it up again. Pull those shoulders away from the ears. Pulse, pulse, good. Eight, seven, 
five, three, two, hold it. Come back onto that forward plank. I'm just gonna switch around so I can watch our timing. We're gonna do a low plank. We're gonna hold it for a minute and a half today. I'll come here and go. Pull those shoulders down and away from the ears. Push back into the heels. Your feet are about hip width apart. Push the arms down into the floor. We got this. Heads in alignment. So this is where my head should be. Not here and not up. I may be looking at you guys, so don't pay attention to that. But head perfectly in alignment with the spine. Bringing that belly button up to the spine. Push back into the heels a little bit more. Push down into the floor a little bit more. You got this. I hope you guys have been practicing your planks. Lulu cries again for whoever can hold the longest when we get back. We just hit one minute. We have 30 seconds left, ladies. And hopefully some gentlemen. Emily, I didn't see your dad. Hopefully he's gonna join. Pull those shoulders down, watch the form. Heads still in alignment. Engage that core, everything above the knees to right above the rib cage. Four more seconds. Two, one. Come off those shoulders. Beautiful. Roll the shoulders, get that pressure off of them. We're gonna do that again. Another minute and a half. If you feel like you need some more, which you may, go ahead and do those pushbacks into the heels. All right, we have five seconds. Get in your position. You can practice, start with your knees down. Shoulders back and knees up. Let's go. Good. One and a half minutes. Stay there. I'm just checking you guys out. Nice. Good, Emily. Bailey, pick your head up just a little bit. There you go. So it's just perfectly in alignment. Nice, Emma Rovig, Emma Gravel, and Sam. I can't see you guys, but look at each other. Make sure that you guys are in good form. Perfect. Come on, you can do it, Emma. Emma Rovig. Good. We're 30 seconds into it. We have another minute. Let's push back into the heels. Change it up. Back, back. Make sure your shoulders and hips are parallel to the ground. So we don't want to be here, and I don't want to be lower. Nice and perfectly parallel to the ground. Pull those shoulders back and down. Flat back. We have 25 seconds left. We can do this, ladies. Push back. Is Hunter doing it with us or just watching? Looks like he's watching. 15 seconds. Engage that core. Strong bellies. Strong back. Strong glutes. Four. Three. Two. One. Come off of those arms. Great job. That was a three. We did three minutes of planking. Really good stuff. And roll it out. Good. Let's do some push ups. So we'll start with some wide push ups. Are you guys dragging today? We can do this. So nice wide push ups. We're going to come onto the floor. You don't, if you later on another day when you guys are not doing this with me, you can use a hard surface and lean into it. But let's all get down onto the floor. So nice wide goalpost arms to start. We'll do some chest push ups first. When I come down, my chest is as high as my elbows. So I don't need to go lower. I just need to drop it so that I have 90 degrees with those elbows. You can get up on your toes too. All right, we're gonna go in a tempo of four, four. So four down and four up, take your time. And I'll call it out. Ready, four, three, two, and one up for four. Take your time. Three. Let's change it to three, one. Down for three. Three, two, one up and one. Three, two, one. Push it up. Three. 
push it up. Three. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Three, two, one. Let's do down for two. Down, two, and up for two. Up, down, up. Choose again. Let's single it up. Down, up, down. Singles. Four, three, two. Pulse it out for eight. Eight, seven, five. Three, shoulders long, and one. Good, come out of that, shake that out. We're gonna do one more set of those. There we go, that's better. And one more set of wide push-ups. Same thing that we just did. Oh, there we go, that's where we want it. Ready? Try on your toes to start. Four down, four up, go. Four, three, two, we'll speed it up a little bit. Four, three, two, one, down. Four, three, down for three, up for one. Three, two, one, push. Push. And push. Twos, down, two, up, down. Single it out, down, down. Six more. Four, three, pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, hold. Come out of that. Good, did you guys feel that? Yes, everybody felt that in the chest and shoulders? Okay, good, thanks Emma. Let's do some under the wire. Chaturanga push-ups. So we're gonna come in with those elbows. Nice and tight. You're on the ground. You can try these on the knees, but I'd love to see you try at least one up on the toes. So we're dropping those forearms down to the ground, coming through. First, we're gonna start up in a downward dog though. And then you can either come up Push back in the downward dog, do it again. Or if you would like a really big challenge, you're gonna slide under the wall, under the wire to get back up, okay? They're really hard if you feel like it's just not gonna happen today, then let's just do the chaturanga ones. We're all gonna start up on our toes. Come up into downward dog. From here, drop those forearms into the ground, slide under and Hips up and back. Let's come down, slide through, up, hips back, down again, slide under, and back. One last time, slide under, and back, good. Just hold this downward dog here. You're gonna switch, push your feet into the ground, Push your arms away. Get a nice stretch. Pull those shoulder blades down your spine. Good. From here, let's take your right leg forward. So you're going to have your heel is right underneath your knee. We're going to lunge, bring those arms straight up. We're going to do some lunges now. So we're going to drop the back knee down and come back up again. Down. Just make sure your stance is wide enough that your knee's not forward of your toes or back of your, to of your heel. You want it ideally right on that heel. You ready? All right, so we're gonna do down for four, up for four. And go, shoulders down. Four, three, two, one, up. I'm gonna face you, back down. Four, three, two, one, up. Three, two, back down. Four, three, two, one, up. Good. Four, three, two, one. Let's change it to three and one. Down for three. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Up. Good. Hips are square. Facing the camera. And up. Three. Let's change it to twos. Down for two. Up for two. Good. Two. Up. 
Back heel is off the ground. Check that front leg. Make sure your knee's over the heel. Down, two, single it out. Down, down. Good, putting, feeling that pressure in this back hip. Focus on a point in front of you to stay balanced. Four, three, pulse it down. Hold in here. Push, push. Good. Shoulders down. Eight more. Eight, seven, four, three, two. Hold. Hold it. Hold it. And come on out. Good. Shake that out. Let's switch legs. I just have to grab something. All right, let's do that other leg. So we are switching. Nice wide, wide stance. Hips are square. Your feet, you should be able to see both of them if you're facing the camera. Arms are up. Ready, down for four. And up for four. Three, two, that's the cat. Four, three, two, one. Can anybody get that back knee down? Four, two, one. Good, one more fours. One, up, four, three, down for three, up for one, three. Squeeze up, three, two, one, up, three. Good, three. And up. Change it to twos. Down for two. Up, two. Squeeze this front glute as well. There they are. Thank you. Single. Down. Down. Long necks. Drop. Up. Four more. Three. Two. We're going to pulse it. Hold it down. Pulse. We got it. You should start feeling this back leg. Eight more. Right here. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Shake that out. Let's take that working leg that you just did and a little quadriceps stretch. Make sure that the knee's not forward. I want to make it go down toward the ground. Good. And let's cross it. Little quick figure four, open up that hip flexor. You can come into your prayer position. Shoulders back, sit back into that hip. Feel it in this bent leg as well. Pick your point in front of you so that you can stay balanced. Come on up slowly. Let's switch legs. Good, we're gonna come back to the floor and do some bear crawls. Might even do some crab walks to have some fun. Good, now let's figure four of that out. Ooh, that feels good. Take this opportunity to stretch these muscles. All right. Sam, you're making me wobbly. <laughs> Oh, Emma, it's dark with that. I, now I see it's Emma. With the uh, sun shining through the windows, you guys look kind of the same when I only see half of your face. <laughs> Squeeze to come on up, shake that out. All right, we're gonna do some bear walks. What this is, I think we've done these before in class. You're just gonna hover your knees ever so slightly off of the ground. So your hands are right underneath your shoulders. You're gonna tuck your toes. Your knees are right underneath your hips. And from here, you're tucking those toes under, picking up the knees, but only, geez, maybe two inches, possibly two inches at that. Pulling the shoulders down so your back is nice and flat, your head's in alignment. We're gonna go forward, opposite hand and knee, opposite hand and knee. We're gonna walk forward for, Backwards for I'm just gonna face you so I have some room. All right, so hands underneath those shoulders. Hover those knees. Ready? Forward. 
two, three, four. The more you hover, the lower you get. Whoops, what am I doing? There we go. Three, two, one. Forward, four. The lower you get with those knees hovering, the harder it is. Four, three, pull that back. I don't want hips up in the air. And again, that head is perfectly in alignment. Back, three. You should feel this in the quads, in your shoulders, in your back, back. Three, hold it here. We're gonna touch the knees down, up, down, up. Breathe. Eight, seven, six, four, two, and one. Good, you should have felt that in here. Shoulders for sure. How are we on time? Good, let's roll those shoulders one more time. <sighs> Good. Let's do some tricep dips while we're here. Then we're gonna do some of my favorite side try rise. Your fingertips are gonna face towards your heels. Your feet are flat. Hold your shoulders down and away from your ears. Pick those hips up, bending at the elbows. It's not a seat drop. Ready? We're gonna go down for two, up for two. Down for two, squeeze up for two. Down, good. Up, down for two, up. Elbows are going straight back, keep going, don't stop. Don't stop. Down for two, up. Should not be able to see my elbows popping out. Down, up, long necks. Really try to get that head up to the ceiling. Let's single it out right here so it's down, down, down. Beautiful, you guys so strong. Down, down. When you get tired, when you are fatigued out, push back forward into the palms with your seat down. But try to keep going. Four, three, two, hold it down, pulse it, eight, Seven, squeeze those shoulders together, elbows back. Three, two, one, good. Let's reach that left arm up, pull it down, reach over to the right. We're gonna do one more tricep floor exercise, our side try rise And open that up, pull the fingers, thumbs face back, and then twist them so they face back again. Good, let's extend the right arm up. Try to reach down that back and open up the side. Twist, just hinge over to the side. Not twist, sorry. All right. Let's come onto our side. I'm gonna bring you a little closer to me at the moment. So you can probably see me just fine. All right. So we're gonna lay on our side. So slight bend in the knees, but they're not up in front. They're just kind of right toward the corner of my mat. You're gonna come all the way down on your side. Your bottom hand that's touching the ground is gonna come up on your shoulder. The arm that's above is the supporting arm. This is the arm we're gonna work. This is the tricep that we're gonna work here, the side tri-rise. It can come underneath your shoulder. It's a little bit easier the farther out your hand goes. So try to have it right underneath that bottom shoulder. And we're gonna push up from here, squeezing that armpit. Okay, trying to keep your body square to me. You guys ready? Let's go. So it's gonna come up for two, down for two. Nice, up for two, good Emily, down. For two, up, good Bailey, Emma, perfect, I can see you raising, don't give up, up, for two, down, for two, Emma and Sam look at each other, make sure you guys are, you have good form, up, for two, down, let's single this one out after we get down, ready, up, down, squeeze, so strong, these are really hard you guys, you're doing a great job. Four, three, two. You might lose range of motion. That's okay. I care more about form. And shake that out. Let's just switch sides. Good job. Was that hard? So 
so-so or easy? It was hard for me. Any thumbs up? I can't really see. So-so for Bailey? Good? Hi. All right, let's do it again. Other side. So, soft knees. Lay down on the floor. That bottom hand wraps around your shoulder. The top arm is going to come right underneath the other armpit. From here, up for two, down. Good. Really focusing. If you're not feeling it in this tricep muscle, rearrange yourself. Try to get maybe that arm a little bit more underneath that bottom armpit. Up for two, down. Good, Bailey. Up for two, up for two. Keep going. Nice. Let's single it out. Up and down. Keep going. I'm just checking you guys out. Keep going. Up and down. Nice. Good. Up and down. Oh, Justin is way in the back there. I see him. And down. Up and down. I couldn't see him at all. And let's do two more. Because I cheated and looked. And up and down. Good. Shake that out. Perfect. Let's do two more arm rolls. Just working those muscles. Oh, that's a good arm roll. Nice. Take those arms out. Give yourself a good squeeze. Let's look down and roll them again. Let's grab your heavyweights. Let's see, where are my heavyweights? Here they are. Who has five pound weights? Just give me a thumbs up. Okay, Bailey, do you have five? You have your water bottles, which are fine. You guys have five, okay. So we're gonna do, we're gonna work back a little bit. Justin, you can go eight or 10, <laughs> he's ready. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do some deadlifts to some rows. So what a deadlift looks like, for you guys who don't remember, we're gonna roll those shoulders back and down, tuck those hips under, you have a heavy seat. Your feet are hip width apart. So from the front, I look like this. From the side, I tucked my hips under. My neutral position would be this. It's just a slight change with that tuck under. Shoulders back and down. I'm going to slide down with soft knees just to my knees. Heads in alignment. Squeeze back up. That's all a deadlift is. Okay, we get some music. I don't know what happened without music, but I need it. It's so different without music. All right, we're gonna come down for four, three, two, flat back, squeeze up, soft knees. We're gonna change this up in a second. One more, just plain deadlift for four and up for four, four, three, squeeze those glutes forward. Now we're gonna stay down, three, two, one, palms face each other. We're gonna do a press and down and squeeze it back up. So let's take it in twos, down for two, Open for two, down for two, and we'll do rows later. Down for two, open for two. Squeeze the shoulder blades down. So you're opening and closing those shoulder blades. Up for two, squeeze, down. Let's speed this up a little bit. Down, squeeze, down, up. Push the hips forward each time. Shoulders back and down, squeeze. Down and up, again, down. Squeeze, down, up. Squeeze, three squeezes, stay down. Three, two, nice and controlled. One, down, squeeze up, again, three. Three here, two, one, squeeze up. We're gonna change it to rows. So just do deadlift singles right now. I'm gonna show you the rows. We're pulling, so we're gonna come down, squeeze, down and up. Down, squeeze, join me when you can. Down, elbows up, up and out. Down, squeeze. Should be feeling this in your backside too. Three rows, down, three, stay. Two, one, squeeze it back up, again. Three, keep those knees soft. One, squeeze it back up, down, elbows out, and out, good. Out, squeeze it, come up, three again, down, three, two,
two, elbows out, one. Last one, I think I lied, three. Heads in alignment with your spine. Good, twist it up, elbows are 90 degrees. Soften those knees, in, out, in. Squeeze those glutes, tuck your seat under. Add a little demi plie in those knees, but they're just parallel today. So open the shoulders, close, open, open, open. Overhead press, up and down. Good, four. I'm gonna change this up in a second. Three, two, take a break. Have these heavy weights. We're gonna go for 45 seconds with punches. Your feet are gonna be right underneath your hips. Parallel position, you're gonna drop down. Arms are coming up, we're pushing, punching, twisting, going for 45. Ready, go. Elbows high, shoulders low. Good. This is gonna get heavy. We're doing three sets. After this, we're gonna do overhead presses for 30 seconds. Try to keep the hips fairly still. You're gonna have some movement in them. Elbows high. Good. We have 20 seconds left here before we do overhead press. Get those elbows high. If the weights are too much, you can go toward the diagonal down low, or you can put those weights down. But try to stay with it. Five more seconds. Good, elbows high if you can. For the last couple seconds. And overhead press, here, overhead. You should be able to see those weights in your peripheral vision. Palms are facing me, or facing out. Good, shoulders low. Tuck the hips. Only 15 more seconds here. We're gonna do three sets. Good. Three, back to those punches. And one, ready, high punches, high. We can do it, don't stop. You can always regress by going down to the diagonal or getting rid of those weights. If you get rid of those weights, get those elbows up high. But don't stop. Good. We have, where was it? 15 more seconds. We can do it. We're almost halfway through. A little quicker if you can. Keep those elbows high. So it's not a pull and a push. High. Elbows are high. So Emma and Sam. Good, Sam. Higher. Up. Oh. No, that was Emma. Good, Emma, I like that. And stop. Overhead press for 30 seconds. Woo! If you have a towel, you can do this with a towel. Keep going. Just, or your bands, Emma. Push, push. Up. Yep, good, perfect. We have five more seconds. And last set, ready? Punch, 45. Oh, this is where I feel it. I'm gonna go low for a little while, but I'm not gonna stop. You guys don't stop either. Get a little quick break. Can we go a little higher now? Nice. Yeah. We have gone 30 seconds. If you have lighter weights than thighs, this is where you may want to change it up. Good, and overhead press, we're done after this. So we're exhaling on the up, inhale. That's a good option too, if it's too much, one at a time. So you can go as fast or slow as you want, just pay attention to your form, good. I actually really have a good clock again. Try to stop at 90 degrees. Don't let those elbows drop farther. That's giving you guys too much 
of a break. Two and one. Beautiful. How'd that feel? You feel strong? You look strong. Good, good, good. All right. Let's roll those arms. And take that left arm, pull it across, hold down. You can drop your head. We are almost done. Let's do some core work and some hamstring and we'll call it a day. We were a little late getting started. Two big arm rolls again. We'll do the other side. Take that right arm, pull, and come on down. All right, we're gonna come on down to the floor. Work some hamstrings. If you guys have a towel, why don't you go ahead and grab it and ball it up. I'm gonna use a playground ball and I'm gonna stick it right in between my knees, maybe a little higher, but you can put a pillow. Pillows actually work a little bit better than towels. So you can grab a pillow to squeeze in, that, in your legs also. We should all have a pillow. I hope you took one from Hunter Bailey. Get him off the floor maybe. All right, so we're gonna lower all the way down to the mat. Can you guys still hear me okay when I'm down here? Emma Rove, can you hear me good? Can you hear me well? Thank you, okay. So from here, let's push that lower lumbar down into the mat. You should have no air underneath your back at all. It should be really pushing into your floor, your mat, your carpet, whatever you have. We're gonna squeeze those legs together as much as you can. You have that pillow in there. So now we're activating the inner thighs. From here, let's raise the hips up to the ceiling. Squeeze that ball. Come down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up. Down, up. Try not to come down to the floor. If you need a little bit extra, why don't we try coming up on our toes? Down, squeeze. Down. Beautiful. Down, up. Ah, getting dizzy. Hold it up. Let's push, push up to the ceiling. Really working the glutes, trying to get those hamstrings. Eight, seven, five. Three, hold your hips up high. Let's squeeze that pillow, release. Squeeze, really squeeze it. Squeeze, release, squeeze. Good, keep going. Let's push it up, let's squeeze the legs and pump up. Push those hips up. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, hold it up. Squeeze those inner thighs again. Smiley face hips to the left, right, left. Good. And right, left, right. Squeeze the ball or the pillow constantly. Four, three, two, eight more pulses up. Eight, seven, squeeze. Up on those toes if you can. Four, three, Two and one. Good. Get rid of the pillow or your ball. Go ahead and squeeze those legs in. Just try not to squeeze on the knees. You can wrap a little side to side. All right, let's come on up. Grab your heavy weight, please. You can just grab one for now. So hopefully your five pounder, one of Bailey's water bottles. Roll your shoulders back and down. We're gonna do mason twist. Let's do 50. One, two. So each one, each side is only one. You guys ready? So we're gonna dig the heels down into the floor. This is option one. Sitting pretty upright with a slight hinge back, option one. Option two, hinging back even more by really pushing that belly button toward your spine. Option three, get those feet up. Ready? 50 of them. One, two, twist the core. Five, eight, good, twist. 12, 
Keep going, you guys look great. I think we're on 17, maybe. Shoulders long, 20, 22, 25, we're halfway there. Twist, one, two, three. Good. Eight. 12. 10 more. 41. 42. 43. 46. 48. And 50. Good. Get rid of that weight. Bicycle it out. We're going to squeeze hold. And squeeze hold. Twist. Squeeze hold. Squeeze hold. Let's rock it out. Go. Twist. 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 Go slower, fast as you need to. Exhaling on the twist. Twist. Four. Three. Two. Feet down. Reach up. Up to the ceiling. Up an inch. Up an inch. Don't let the shoulders come down. Up an inch. Down an inch. Feeling the lower abdominis. A little tiny bit transverse. And up. Down an inch. Up. Hold it up and go to the heels. Pulse. Squeeze. Eight. Seven. Five. Three. Two. Hold. Hold it here. Hold. Release it. Extend out. You guys, great job today. Nice little stretch here. Let's grab the right wrist. Pull it over to the left side. Nice big breaths. Open up the belly. Just relax. <sighs> Let's switch. Grab that opposite wrist. Open up the side. Breathe. Good. We're just going to roll over onto our bellies now. For a mini cobra, so the hands are going to go right underneath or to the side of your chest. Squeeze those elbows together and then just pick up ever so slightly and release. If you can, I want you guys to try this teeter totter. It's here and then you're letting go. Shh. Exhaling on the down. Shh. 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 Feel like we're on the playground. Shh. One more. Shh. Good. Just relax. Look over to the right side. Just giving your neck a little stretch. And then look over to the right. Good. Push yourself up onto all fours. Let's get our cat and cow. So we're going to articulate that lower lumbar all the way up to the top and release it. So we're exhaling, inhaling. Follow your own breath. Get rid of all that air and inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Last one. Come to neutral when you're done. And we're just going to face the front. We're going to bring, let's bring your uh, left, sorry, your right leg in. Your left leg is extended. Widen your sit bones. We're going to reach out to the ceiling. Point the left toes. Twist over that left leg. Come on up and down. To get a little more stretch, Let's take that right hand on the outside of the left leg and use that as some pressure to bind and push that left arm to the back. If you want, you can bind that arm around your body. Let's pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Come on back around. And one more time, just over that leg. Every exhale, get a little bit deeper in that stretch. Let's 
slowly walk up that leg. Let's do a quick butterfly stretch. Feet together, again, widening the sits bones. Roll those shoulders back and down. And just open up the inner thighs, the hip flexors just a little bit. If you want, you can reach forward and see how inflexible I am. And walk on back up. Let's bring the left leg in, right leg extends. Widen the sits bones, little wiggle. Reach up to the ceiling. Let's twist over that right leg up and over. Take your left hand on the outside of that right leg. Reach back with that right arm or bind it around. But use that pressure, use that hand to get you a little bit lower and open up the back a little bit more. Good, back to the leg. And walk on up. We're gonna come over back onto all fours. Tuck those toes under, hands underneath your shoulders. Hips come up. Sit back into your downward dog. Heels into the floor. Palms push away from the floor. And let's walk the feet toward the hands. Feet are hip width apart. Grab those elbows. Rock side to side, hang heavy ragdoll. Soften the knees. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. We've had a lot of arm rolls in this class. So two more arm rolls. I'm just gonna come back up. Good, one more arm roll. Beautiful, open it up. Give yourself a giant hug. Good. Drop that head down. And pick it back up again. One more big arm roll. Open it up. Switch arms with your hug. Drop your head over to the left. Good. You guys were fabulous today. Drop it over to the right. And give yourself a big hand. Congratulations, you guys. It was so good. Hopefully I'll see you again on Tuesday.